This is one of the hardest rains I've seen in a long time. Well, I'm not really sure how to start this video, so I'm just gonna start talking and hopefully I'll have all the pieces in the end. Uh, REI is anti-gun. I found this out a month or two ago. And what am I doing? I'm driving to an REI because I have a gift card and I'm gonna spend it. And after that, that is going to be the last time that I'm going to patronage uh, REI. Carlin, uh, this is a <laughs> this is a disclaimer or you know I want to make a, a statement to my friend Carlin Carlin you gave me this wonderful gift certificate I appreciate it the money still spends and the products are still good but the company I will no longer support so appreciate the gift and this has nothing to do my my next comments have nothing against you or anything like that but here we go about a couple months ago, I joined something called Avant Link, or yeah, Avant Link, Avast Link. Anyway, it's an affiliate like program, and you can request companies that are affiliated with this affiliate program to be an affiliate for their company. That is how I got in touch with BioLite and the people from BioLite. Now, I, at this time, I only do affiliate stuff with people I actually like. There's two, BioLite and Peak Design. You already know I like Peak Design, there's no question about that. Peak Design is awesome. I like BioLite as well. You already saw I had that stove. I actually bought that stove from this REI. I, I like their products too. They do things that are innovative and different and I like that. Uh, that's the disclaimer side out of the way. I'm not a shill for any company. I've never been like that. I never will be like that. But. I do love the shopping experience at REI. Pound for pound, walking into an REI is one of my favorite things to do, and ha and and to and, and like traditionally has been one of my favorite things to do. I like going there. I like their little 20% off sale. I like their co-ops. I like all the stuff they do. It, and it is kind of hippy dippy. I get that. And to be honest, I kind of saw where this was going. I sent in a request to be an affiliate for REI, so I could do videos and whatever. And if I'm pointing people to it, I might as well get a cut and and might as well try to get you guys a discount as well and I got this email back from them the email basically says among other things that they don't want any content or channels encouraging people to shop there if those if those channels or those people are pro-gun so after today I'm not gonna be shopping in REI anymore I want to get this out to everybody who does shop at REI because I think, you know, you know, it's funny is if you hop on gun channels, most of us have talked about going to REI and how much we enjoy shopping in REI, but we get that weird feeling that they're probably not one of us and they probably actually don't appreciate us in terms of uh, our being their customer. So now we know, um, let's not shop there anymore. Remind me to do a video on the Go Tenna. I need to talk about that. It's like a one watt little stick Bluetooth radio. So basically, what the deal is here is that REI doesn't want to be associated with hunting or guns or weapons of any kind, and they are rejecting people who want to be affiliates to them who have content that either features weapons, hunting, or guns. So that's basically like being anti-gun. I guess it's gray area because probably a good portion of their market share, the people that they sell things to, are anti-gun. So they would rather appear to be Switzerland on the whole process, if you will, of, of guns and guns in society, etc., etc. But given my stance on situations like these, I am electing not to be a patron anymore of REI. That doesn't mean you have to, I'm just getting the word out that they have an active thought process that steers their company away from guns, gun-related content, hunting, weapons of any kind, etc. So, like I said, I'll be taking my money elsewhere and you're welcome to do that as well. There's plenty of other good options. Okay guys, that'll do it. Question of the day, what was the last thing you purchased at REI? And then sub question, what was the most amount of money you spent at REI? The reason I'm asking this is I'd like anyone that works at REI or ever sees this or if you share this with them, etc., whatever, I want the comments to say 
how much money you guys have spent, when was the most recent time you went there, and what was the largest thing you bought. If we're gonna end up hurting these companies or getting them to change the way that they view our gun culture, the only way we do that is by explaining to them exactly how much money they're losing. Anyway, that's the vlog for the day. Thank you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow.